India versus England marquee series here's an exercise for all of you just close your eyes look at possible lineups and say who in my mind are the key players in this series do this exercise yourself I'll do the exercise too and then let's see if we match we've done that so many times just sort of we, we match our teams don't we? we match our expectations so here are the five players I'm really looking forward to for India versus England number one is Virat Kohli and there's a reason this it's not just that wow there he goes on the Virat Kohli bandwagon again what happened to Virat Kohli in 2020 was a very unusual year for Virat Kohli since his debut the only year in which he didn't score 130 innings without a century I mean I don't know if Virat is the kind who keeps track of these things but he will know he will also know and I don't think he gets up every morning dreaming of competition but he will also know that Joe Root has got a double hundred Kane Williamson's got a double hundred, Steve Smith has got a century and almost 300 runs in those last two test matches and Virat Kohli will be saying players like me don't sit back for too long but also this has always been Virat Kohli's team and Virat Kohli will be very keen not just as player but as captain to say look this is my team I had lent it to Rahane you lent a book to someone I lent it to Rahane and now I've got my team back and I'm very happy that Rahane has gone out of the way to say look Virat Kohli is captain he was captain for the first test I was vice captain I got the job but now this is Virat Kohli's team again this team has some very good people in it apart from players as well so I'm really looking forward to seeing how Virat Kohli the captain performs but also Virat Kohli the batsman because when Virat Kohli the batsman is playing well wow, it's just a different series completely so he was he's my number one player for that reason my number two player is someone who strangely for all the great cricket he's played has less not, not quite the greatest record dare I say against England and that's Ravi Chandran Ashwin he's averaging 35 36 he's taking wicket at a strike rate of 77 Ashwin in India doesn't do that so I'm really looking forward to Ashwin because I thought he bowled magnificently in Australia there was so much talk with some players we tend to talk about what they haven't done rather than what they have and I don't know why that is true of Ravi Chandran Ashwin he's been such a giant in Indian cricket but I see Ashwin emerging as the key player in this series simply because if Ashwin is bowling well India have the series and I'm, I'm quite happy to say that up front even if the wickets are not turners on good tracks Ashwin will prove to be a handful so I have very high expectations Ashwin is what is a player I'm really looking forward to who's my number three player to look forward to Joe Root head and shoulders above any other England batsman definitely in these conditions why is Root so critical we saw in Sri Lanka Root made a vast percentage of all the runs that England made but look at who comes before Root you've got Sibley, Burns, Crawley fairly inexperienced especially on the subcontinent with no record to talk about who comes after Root Ben Stokes he averages 25 26 as a batsman in Asia he's had a great two years but as a batsman in Asia not quite the same average Butler's going to be around for a while he's going away then you're into the all-rounders it's Joe Root that you think about when you think about England up front so Root is if, if Root has a bad series if Root has an average series England have no chance so to me Root is the key for uh, for England then Jofra Archer England have Anderson broad if Karan comes back Karan if Vokes plays Vokes but in India when the ball stops swinging and before it starts to reverse again medium pace doesn't get you too many wickets I know Anderson it, towards the twilight of his career is experiencing a renaissance he's bowling beautifully broad had a great run but on the subcontinent on good batting pitches you need the extra pace and I'm looking forward to seeing how Jofra Archer's extra pace works and how he responds to the workload given that he's going to be an all format player he's, he's probably going to be required for the white ball game he's going to play the IPL all in preparation for the T20 World Cup so how England handled Jofra Archer and how he bowls with his extra pace on these pitches will be something that I'm really going to look forward to so that's four fifth I'm going with a young man not a single person who saw Shubman Gill play in Australia came away thinking wow there's someone special Alan Border said it before the series started he said I see something in this young man almost got a hundred in a big game and I'm expecting Shubman Gill if he can keep all the pressure of expectation and everything around him go out play the new ball I'm expecting Shubman Gill to have a big impact on this series so there you are those are my five players pick yours